Taurus, what is going on, my dears? They will not ignore us. No, they won't. It is me, where it is she, where it is V, where it is Scorpion, Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energy is surrounding you for the month of April 2021. Baby, we're here to have fun. I want to give a shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to all my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video and just showed me support. I appreciate everything every last one of y'all if there's anyone that would like to reach out to me for a personal or private reading go ahead and click the description box of this video so you can shoot me a message on instagram if you don't have instagram just email me in scorpionreds at gmail.com if you would like to send some love and support to the page um various ways to show love is uh in the description box and you can also check out the about tab on my youtube page for those links as well so again if you want a personal or private reading Reading, the best way to connect with me is either Instagram Messenger or shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com. All right, Taurus. Now, listen, baby. You know how we going to do it, baby. You know how we going to do it. We always give praise, thanks, and acknowledgement to Father God, the creator of the universe, whatever it is that you want to call him. We got to go ahead and say hello. Hello, it's me. You feel what I'm saying? So, listen, bow your heads with me or raise your hand or whatever it is you need to do. All right, Father God, we coming through. Father God, thank you so much. We're here for the sign of Taurus. They will not ignore us, Father God. We standing here in praise and glory because they don't know our story. Father God, we woke up just feeling amazing today. You know, from after that, every single day this month and for the rest of this year, we're going to wake up feeling like a million bucks. Okay, Father God, waking up feeling like we don't want the Powerball. And I know a few of us done went and bought that ticket. And look, we ain't win last time, but we going to win. Okay, well, I don't know. Look, we going to win child okay uh, listen okay we gonna win so listen i don't know i don't know why i'm feeling all blessed and just feeling lucky i don't know that's what i'm feeling going into this reading father god so listen i hope some of that beautiful lucky golden coin energy just rubs off on me in the name of jesus okay i want to just thank you father god for just making us magical and magnificent and just in the proper placement and just everything is just being worked in divine timing for us father god so taurus is not saying nothing but just thank you and just thank you for this energy that we've just been living in right now because i just jumped into this spirit and i, I love it and i'm not even in taurus so father god just thank you so much just for covering us for smothering us just for hovering over us father god with your blessings and your grace in the name of jesus amen amen and amen please give us guidance for the sign of taurus all right amen all right let's get into this so taurus I got a bevy of treats over here. I got a bevy of treats over here. Over here, we're going to do the love. Over here, we're going to do the general and career and finance. So let's get into it. We want to do one card for each over here in the uh, general and career and finance. And then we're going to do two for each one of these decks over here in love. So let's see what we got going on, Taurus. All right. Give me one card for Taurus for April 2021. One card for Taurus. Alright. One card for Alright. You got the destroyer. You got the destroyer, and but then the healer popped out as well. So, real quick, off of this healer card, I just want to tell you like, there's going to be three important stages in your life. I want to say, like, you're stepping into the middle ground. You're stepping into the middle ground. This destroyer card right here is a very powerful card because it's like what you can build. Like I said, God give it and God can take it away. You could create something, but you have the right to take it down and say that you want to create another. So it's something going on in your life right now, Taurus, where you feel the need for destruction to tear it down it needs to be rebuilt it needs to be repaved it needs to be started from scratch so i don't know if this is a project if this is uh an established idea that you've been working on and just like i need to scrap it and i just need to revision this thing i need to start from the beginning but whatever it is you are stepping into the power and the archetype of the destroyer 
You know, God giveth and God taketh away. I created it and I can decide I don't want it anymore. You know, so this could very much so be. Um, and I want to say that there could necessarily be destructive behavior or there could be a just. Oh, Lord, I just looked at those eyes. Do y'all see those eyes right there? So, and I'm going to keep it 100 with you. For the ones that are just not, um, you're not in the stage where it's like um, something just ain't jiving with you. And I just want to take something back and restart all over again. It's either one or the other. Either you are stepping into your power to change your life or you are being a very destructive individual. There is, or it's towards there could be someone in your energy that is taking on and destroy uh, I am kind of getting a very dark energy with this here um, it's like this person it just keeps running around in circles running around in circles and it seems like they just tearing up everything in their path and it's like they need to grab their self it's like because they're taking a, a deep fall from grace because it's, it's, it's their doing you know what I'm saying like they're the destroyer they are being destructive and I don't I don't think it's intentional but it is almost intentional because it's like you know what you're doing and you you know what you're doing you know what I'm saying but it's like you keep doing it you're not trying to take the right steps to make things better it's like you just keep running around as a, this is a marathon you just keep running around in circles doing the same thing you know and not achieving any progress so um there's two different sides of that destroyer card um and again it could be your own doing or it could be someone doing this around you and you may be taking that platform of I'm stepping up as a destroyer and I'm ending this because this is this is not making sense for me. Okay, so let's see. In the success deck here, you got Miss Susie Orman. She looks familiar. What does she do? Susie Orman. Personal debt is a free education in finance. <laughs> Personal debt is a free education in finance. Risk isn't always worth the risk. Afford to loan good advice. I think that that was some very, very good advice. The best way to learn and have a free education in finance is to go and fuck your money up and make a bunch of stupid ass goddamn decisions that you're going to have to find your way out of later on. You know, I listen, I done screwed my credit up when I was in my early 20s. I did like a, a, a debt consolidation program. It was like I was paying someone to help me pay my debt off and I was stupid. But it was just like I had like four or five credit card bills coming in every month on top of my regular bills. I was just, you know, just like being reckless. And the best way that you can learn to don't do that is to learn to don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So again, remember I was saying the destroyer on the negative side. So it's something that in regards to someone's hopes, their dreams, their finances, their career, their overall well-being is someone that is like self-sabotaging um, hopes. It's, and, and then again, I'm keep getting a revisioning of old thoughts. So it's like, I don't know if it's like you keep going on and on in your head about what you used to be or what you used to do. And it's like, but that's not who you are anymore. You have to redefine yourself. You have to, again, it's like tear down whatever that old perception was or that old expectation. You got to get rid of that. And the role of the destroyer is to get rid so that new can be created. New can be created. So I don't know if this is like old patterns, someone that's not willing to get rid of old teachings or whatever it is, but again and it's like remember i said someone running around in circles keep doing the same stupid shit and just destroying everything in the past where it says risk isn't always worth the risk risk isn't always worth the risk sometimes sometimes people make risks that are not fucking worth it 
and it's like you're risking yourself yet again with a different group of people with a different circumstances and you're going around in circle yet again doing the same stupid shit and it's not worth it because you're still destroying every fucking thing in your path i don't know who this is but this is speaking to someone and the best way that you could learn not to do something is to learn not to do something. The best way that you can learn not to fuck up your money is by fucking up your money. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? So, if this is not you, if you're not the destroyer on the neck, on the, on the dark side, the destroyer on the light side of this situation is going to destroy their... Standing with whoever this reckless person. Because there is a reckless person here. And th there's the dark and then there's the light. And then the light side of this. The light side of the situation is listening to. Afford to loan good advice. Someone is going nowhere quickly. And the best way. That I can advance myself. Is by separating myself. And getting off of this track of this path of destruction. Because you could destroy yourself. But you're not going to take me with you. So there's someone here that's on the light path. I started this. I started this gangster shit. And you mean to tell me this is the thanks I get? My stop hints here. I'm getting off of the bus. You can run around in circles and fuck your life up by yourself. So there's definitely someone that they learned. Their money got fucked up. Something got fucked up. Something ain't right in the best way to, to look. They got a free education in whoop ass. Okay. <laughs> got a free education. And don't do that no more. Okay. So um, afford to loan some good advice you guys. Because you are having to tear this down. So that you can structure rebuild yourself. And you're affording yourself at this moment. A chance to start something new so you can teach people, you can reach people so they don't have to make this, the mistakes that you have made. You know what I'm saying? And it's not a bad thing. It's, again, still life experience and education. You know what I'm saying? But um, I definitely feel like someone is understanding now the value of the dollar. And you, you have to respect your money by paying respect to it and only giving it to things that respect you. You know what I'm saying? So, if I'm going to give you my hard-earned dollar, I got to know ever that you're going to give it back to me or that there's some type of investment or that there's some type of principle here. I'm not going to give to something that has no principle, no value, no cents, no dollars. No. You got the high effect in the reverse. So, yeah, this is someone that is like, there's no... Uh, it's like there's no type of commit. There's like there's no honor system. There's no commitment system. There's no value system. Again, there's like someone is like again is saying it's a fall from grace, a fall from grace. So it's like someone's being disassociated. Someone is being barred from an establishment. It's like they're being kicked out. They're um. I heard someone's license is being revoked or something like that. So it's like, um, it's like someone's license. It's like there, it's like there's someone's being terminated. It's like, um, you do not demonstrate the values of someone that can have a work in this establishment, be a part of this group membership, um, can be a value customer here like this can even be someone like refusing services for you know what i'm saying like they don't want to patron they don't want any patronage from you like i don't want your money do you want do you, you feel what i'm saying like i don't need your membership dollar i don't want your church tidings like you do not serve the principles of god and and, and all money is not good money i don't want it that's just like um a drug dealer or someone that's like a pimp trying to go 
take their pimp and their drug money and give it to the church. Like the church, the church is going to not, I don't want your, I don't want your kind. You do not live a, the lifestyle that honors God. So why would I take your prostitution money or your, you, or your drug money? Like, no, like you're being barred and your access has been disabled. You cannot come here no more. You're not welcome here anymore. Um, your kind is not accepted in this establishment so like yeah <laughs> it's like someone does not have a sense of honor of justice and value system it's like they do what the fuck they want to do and it's almost like they don't have like no one taught them respect and common law like not only just like like legal law but just like universal law it's like this person does not believe in karma this person could possibly not believe in god not have a good relationship or connection with god it's just like this person believes that they are above reproach or they are they just don't have to do and live a standard of life that everyone else does like they could just be a renegade and just like no don't work here so um mm. Mm. someone's money isn't and then you got the music you got the music here too um so I, I don't know if it's like if your your brand of music isn't accepted in the church or um because you know and i'm gonna keep it 100 you guys because i like all of the stuff that's been going on in the music industry all the stuff with little nas x and everything because you know that they say that the devil himself was like had one of the most was one of the most beautiful i guess or had the best voices or his he was like the like the guru of music or some shit like that and he had a fall from grace from the heavens and you like literally you know what i'm saying because i don't know if this is like someone that's like i don't know like i'm kind of getting like some little nas x it's just like you have a gift you have a, a talent and, and, and everything but why would you represent yourself in such a dark light like that and then you think that everyone's just going to accept your music and what you're doing like it's not demonic you know what i'm saying because like like it's not of god like the music is not of god like your whatever it is is not good you know what i'm saying it's like we don't accept that here i'm not gonna let my children listen to that i don't want to listen to that i don't want to look at the video like you by yourself with that shit you see what i'm saying so again it's like someone like i don't know if it was your talent your gift for music or if this is someone that y'all are dealing with so and now i'm getting like this is someone that is like i don't know if this was like organized um if you had like if you're a musician and you had like a label behind you they may be stepping away from you because I, it's little nas x a taurus shit i don't know anyway it's like they may be stepping away from you because look risk isn't always worth the risk personal debt is a free education in finance so it's like they could have already had experiences where they've invested in someone's art and someone's music and then they come out on some wild shit and it's like bruh like i'm trying to help you i'm trying to invest in you i'm trying to help get you to the next level but it's like you just seem like you just are you trying to destroy your <laughs> career by yourself like you think that we're going to go around this fucking gravy train with you no 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 no. so it is like the like the label may be taking their money back they're just like man like you disrespected the church you disrespected people you are not living an honorable life or your music is not um we just can't have that here 
whether it's secular or something. It's something that's not being accepted. It's something that's too risky. And I, I don't see people jeopardizing their name, their dollar. You know what I'm saying? Taking a chance at dealing with something. So that destroyer card is like, I give it, but I can take it away as well. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if this is your gift, your talent in music, your whatever. It's like... I did not give you this for you to do that with it. You know what I'm saying? And then, no. I don't know. Let me let it go. I don't know why I'm like, it's screaming little Nas X. I don't even watch that boy, so I don't know what the hell his birthday is to even give a fuck. Anyway. What is this here? You got the success card, but that came out in a reverse. Um, I'm just going to take it for what it is. It's like, all right. If you want to be known for the wrong thing, if you want to be infamous, go ahead. You will be successful in that. But at the same time, I feel like I feel like it's all on what you want to be known for. Do you understand? So it's like a laugh now, cry later. So just like you may be getting the attention, the success. Like you may be getting the roses thrown at your feet right now you know but this came out in a reverse and i do read these cards in a reversal um it's like a temporary success like some i'm i'm gonna be honest i'm like i don't want to say that shit i really don't but it's like literally something led by the devil it's just like if you do things the right way and you I'm getting tempered. Temper yourself. Temper yourself. Temperance. Like, stop being so someone is being hella fucking destructive. And I feel like whoever's watching this, I'm not talking to you or about you. I feel like someone is pulling away from this situation. If this is not you, this is you knowing exactly who the fuck I'm talking about. And you like, yeah, I hopped off that train right there. Because, like, oh, no. It's like as soon as this Hierophant and the reverse card came on, you was like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. What? Oh, you think, oh, no, I'm not associated with that. So it's like people are backing away. People are backing away. It's like somebody is getting part-time success. Like, it's part-time success. Laugh now, cry later. Everyone is all on your bandwagon now because it's like someone is being known for the wrong fucking thing. But in a couple of weeks, in a couple of months, people are not going to be laughing no more. People are not going to be interested no more. There's going to be no more roses. And you will be known for the rest of your life for this. You destroyed. It's like you destroyed it. It's like you made people back down based on the shit you was giving out. So I'm just going to let that go. I don't know who that is, but God give it for God, take it for me. It's like, listen, it's just like, and again, it's like opportunities. It's like you could be given an opportunity, but you have the right to fuck it up too. Like people have free will, you know what I'm saying? And you can't blame that on God. You can't blame that on nobody but yourself because people have the free will and the right to make the decision to do good or bad. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you 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 got it, champ. Sure. You got it. And I have the right to decline. Straight up. Give me guidance and love for Taurus. Okay. We got one right here. We got religious factors, bruh. I'm trying to tell you. Someone is on some shit that Taurus ain't jiving with. I told y'all I don't think that this is the damn Taurus. And then you got a past life relation. Didn't I tell I told y'all. Mm-mm. I fucking told y'all, bruh. You got religious factors and past life of a uh, uh, relationship or whatever the fuck that is. So this is saying to me, like, you have experienced something like this before. It's like, oh, hell no. Nah. I, I ain't. I don't dance with the devil. Do you feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't play that. I don't play that shit. I don't. Mm -mm. It's like, ever my family taught me better than this. Like, I was raised not to listen to secular music or not to hang with people that don't have a moral, a moral sense of value, that don't believe in God, that don't have 
that don't believe in karma. It's just like someone is doing something without sense of like universal justice and karma and just like, oh no. And it's like with this past life thing right here and the religious factors, it's like your belief system is very important to you. The way that you think, the way that you carry yourself, the people that you carry yourself around. And if you do not believe and just maturity and just respecting yourself and respecting other motherfuckers. Like, how about respecting yourself and respecting other people? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, if you can't honor yourself and abide by that, like, you just this person and just you don't abide by any rules. You just, it's like you just creating shit on the go. Like, no, I can't be around because you, you, you can decide to be good to me one day and just out of the whim of your ass, you can decide to treat me like shit another day another because you creating this shit up as you go no i don't have time for that shit i done seen it i done witnessed it i done experienced it before whatever it was it won't happen again and it taught me the principle of knowing thyself knowing thyself what you stand for and what you believe in and you better not shake rattle bend or fucking fold from that because the worst thing that you could ever do is let someone bend or fold you up or try to think that they can mold you. Make it up on the way. Girl, bye. It says your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And again, with that past life, love, um, no, mm-mm, no, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm -mm. That's all I can say is mm -mm. no, ma'am, Miss Ham. I do not. Mm -mm. Give me two cards for twelve. Oh. What is this? Get. You got the Queen of Wands in reverse. And then you got the Ace of Pentacles. All right, I like that. So, um, <laughs> I, don't laugh at me, but this is what I keep hearing. He said, I'm angry because I'm sanctified with the strength of Jesus. <laughs> strength of Jesus in the now. Okay, come on. Listen, this point that I know I got something coming to me. And it's like I it's like I'm almost it's like I'm flabbergasted that you would even approach me with uh it's 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 like what? Um it's like, I feel like someone's upset that I got to start all over again. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I have to start from scratch. Like, the Ace of Pentacles is like, um, replanning. It's, it's like, uh, like literally, uh, in, in a new playing field, something where it's, um, it's like guaranteed riches as long as you invest right as long as you play your hand right as long as you study as long as you prepare as long as you um you plant your seed in the right season and you nurture it and you be patient and you show it love and you talk to it and you water it as long as you do everything because to me the ace of pentacles has a lot to do about because remember what do we say here Personal debt is a free education of finance. You had a free education. <laughs> you had a free education in what not to fuck to do and how to do it correctly the right time the next time around. So again, like with this destroyer, it's just like I can't just do anything with you anymore. This gotta stop. 
I started this shit and I have the right to end it. I'm upset because I feel like it's a waste of time and energy. I don't know if this was a past life thing and if you just like, oh, you still on the same track. Gotta go. Um, to let me not waste not a dime, okay, of my time. And it's like I could just be, it's like upset because... I even thought that I could advance with you type of thing. But let me take my coin. And I've already. It's like I, I learned once. That. <clears throat> ain't shit positive going to come from someone. That is destructive and don't want nothing good for themselves. It is like. Not even just learning to assert yourself with past people. With present people too. Because they can remind you of that past like bullshit. And it's like it angers you. Because again. I am saved. And I'm angered. And I'm certified and sanctified with the strength of Jesus. Do you understand? It's like don't approach me. Don't come towards me. Don't flatter yourself. Because you gonna get the sharp end of my stick. Do you understand? You gonna get don't don't do it. Do you understand? So it's like someone is like angry about having to start over again. But at the same time realizing how blessed and fruitful they are. And because they had this crash course of bullshit over here, I know how to not take certain risks and invest my time and my money and my heart and my energy and my love wisely to make sure that it brings back investment because this ain't bring back shit but disaster in the wait and, and, and I'm not waiting for that <coughs> and again did y'all hear what I said disaster in the wait okay so y'all can sit there and wait for something to come back around Just with the destroyer, with a destructive person, look at that. The destroyer. You see it? Okay. So if this is not you, whatever this is, you have the right to refuse. You have the right to say you are not welcome here. Okay? <laughs> Give me guidance and love for Taurus. Give me two cards for Taurus and love for April. Well, they just say you got a pretty little penny, girl. Oh, it got some wheat on it, too. I like that. So that means, like, your crops are very fruitful. Like, very, very fruitful. Like, a vast harvest. And it's like, you know what you're doing now. So it just, like, again, it take you to do some dumb shit for you to learn how to do it right. Like, you know what you're doing now. So... You got the palm tree, stability, security, prominence, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Come on now. Come on. You might be having to throw somebody a little shade. Okay? But you're resting well up under this palm tree. It's like once you destroyed something and got all that energy away from you, I mean all of it, the foundation ain't even there. Like you didn't tilt the ground and everything like None of that shit is there. You done unrooted shit. Okay? It's like you're so good now. You're stable. You're free. You're clear. You got the hammer. I felt like it's, um... Hmm. It's something that, um... You had to keep working at. You know what I'm saying? It, again, it, it's something that I, I feel like it wasn't easily removed. You had to keep chipping at it. You had to keep hammering away. But at the same time, like that said with that palm tree, that stability, that endurance, the permanence. So you kept hammering away and removing something and you destroyed it. This is like a demolition, like the demolition man or something like that. Like you tore it down because you didn't want it to have any structure anymore. You want it to be permanently removed from your life for good, forever, and for always. All right? This means sabotage, rebuilding. I told you. The destroyer. Tearing something down so that you can rebuild. It says interrogation, repetitive, 
persistent working on it. Again, like I said, something was repetitive. Come, Y'all already got it. Y'all, I don't got to repeat myself. Y'all know exactly what I mean, Taurus. <coughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I just heard past, present, and future. It is what it is. Ever. Destroy it or it will destroy you. It is not going to change in either cycle. In none of the cycles. It's not going to change. You have to be the destroyer. You. Give me two more cards for, or for Taurus and we done. Give me two cards for Taurus and love. Remember I was saying something about temperance and, and I said something about temperance. So your belief system and then you got the hermit. You got the hermit. So right now in love it's like I feel like you've been through so much. Um, you had to re-educate yourself. You had to like step inside and look at the inner workings of yourself. I want to say that you kind of changed some things around a little bit. I want to say you did some interior redecorating. You know, interior design, redecorating and stuff. Like your insides is looking a lot brighter. It's looking different because you removed a lot of things from around you that brought a lot of just gloom and darkness and just like... It's like you removed it. And it's like once you removed, I'm feeling like clutter. I don't know why I'm feeling like a darkness. I, I, I'm feeling like a, like, you know, like a dark cloud. Like you ever been sitting outside and you see a rainstorm coming in that dark cloud and it's getting closer and it's closer. Like it could even be raining and you can smell the rain, but it didn't hit you yet. Right. It's like you removed yourself from that atmosphere. It's like you're on a new planet. Like it don't rain like that here. It don't rain like that here. It's like I've avoided those showers. Only thing I'm seeing is Mayflowers. That's it. It's like I'm getting all of the blessing without the rain. Getting all of the blessing without the rain. But it took for me to get inside myself and... I want to say to pull the best out of me. Something about the situation is like you had to get re, you had to retouch with faith. <clears throat> Cause I want to say you could have lost it. You could have lost your stability and faith because of the atmosphere that you were around. Because I want to say you could. It don't necessarily have to do with religion, but you could be a person that believes highly of yourself, believes that you could create anything, that you could have anything. That, But it's like when you are around people, don't trust, don't have no faith, don't have a good upbringing, don't have no structure. It's just the epitome of like low, dark, dilapidated unbearing of anything how can you grow it's like because that, that 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 energy was hoovering over you because it's not wasn't just you everything in this path everything that stepped near this path was getting hung up in the storm was getting destroyed in the storm like a tornado just pumbles through everything and it's like I don't know if it's like tornado season or something like you live in tornado alley I don't know but it's just like you need to move you need to move there's places in this universe you, you don't they don't have to, they don't get no damn tornadoes. Come to D.C. We don't get no damn tornadoes. Shit. <clears throat> Not like I don't. Shit. I ain't never seen one. 
you know? But it's like if you continue to sit in a surrounding where that's all you see, that's all you'll start to believe in. And you won't. It's like you don't even realize that there's better for you. And that you can do better for yourself. You know? And it's like you have to get back in touch with reality. Because, again, it's something that... It's like you walked away feeling drained. Again, feeling upset that you had to start something over again. And something that you're constantly working on. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's like... You're finally working on yourself. And... I want to say you're trying to rid this past life relationship away from you and you're constantly chipping away this bullshit and I want to say you're trying to fix your inner workings of yourself and get rid of this lack of belief that uh, something good, something prominent, something fruitful, you know, is going to come to you. Keep chipping away and knowing that that shit is going to happen. It believes in it. It believes in you as much as you believe in it. If you don't believe in it, if you don't have faith that you're deserving and that God will give this to you, and that you're working towards that, that's why I'm saying that inner working, you're having to change that inside. Because when you're around this, I can only imagine what you believe in. And how that fucked you up. Not on the outside, because your outside appearance could tell lies. It could tell stories of confidence. It could tell stories of wealth. It could tell stories of self. And you might not have any idea of who self is. You might have a whole bunch of name brand designer things, but it ain't nothing of true value to you. It has no value to you. Do you understand? So... Right now, you are understanding your worth, the value of a dollar, and all risk ain't worth the risk. No more risky business, you guys. No more risky business. And the best way that you can learn not to lose your money is to lose everything and have to start from the beginning. I don't give a damn if it's one cent that you have. It's the prettiest scent that you've ever had. And baby, when I tell you that you're going to invest it wisely, oh baby, you are definitely investing in this wisely. You may be upset. A lot of this may be new to you. Shake off that anger. Shake off that frustration. Don't nobody like to start all over. But you getting rid of a whole bunch of this past life shit. You focus on what you really want. What is true value to you? And inside you know you want a whole nother playing field, a whole nother galaxy. You destroy one thing so that you can start another. Have faith. Always have faith. If you can't rely on nothing, you can always rely on your faith because God is always listening. Always listening. Alright? So, Taurus, I love you. Thank you for loving yourself. And get rid of them. Get rid of them. Peace.